Hey guys and welcome back to my channel and if you are new here, hi my name is Lavinia and I post beauty videos regarding makeup and skincare three times a week, every Tuesday, Friday and Sunday at 8am Mountain Standard Time. So if that's something you're interested in, I would love for you to join my channel by hitting the big red subscribe button. So today we are going to be talking about the worst skincare mistakes you can make for acne scarring. Now a few weeks ago I posted a video on the worst skincare mistakes you could do for acne. You guys really enjoyed that video and I thought you know let's keep it going and talk about acne scarring since you know the two are very closely related a lot of times people who struggle with acne also struggle with acne scarring so I thought I'd give you guys more tips if you do not know I have been struggling with hormonal and cystic acne for the past seven years so I've really gone through it all I've tested dozens and dozens of skincare products and different treatments I've had like all the different types of acne acne scarring as well and it's an ongoing journey for me um, and I like to share my tips share my my experiences and everything I've learned over the years with you guys and continue to learn and grow on this channel as well. So if you want to hear about the worst skincare mistakes that I often see other people do and I have done in the past myself that I've realized hey this might have made my acne scars worse just keep on watching. Oh you tell me stories you tuck me in and the second you leave I call you right back so let's get started i have five top tips that i'm going to be talking about today five things that i think you should avoid um or different mistakes that you may be making in your skincare routine that you may not be even realizing is really affecting your skin and more particularly your acne scars so first mistake which is probably the most important of them all that's why i'm putting it first because if you are doing this Please fix it as soon as you can because it could really not only be affecting your acne scars and the healing time for your scarring, but indeed making them worse and overall making your skin worse and more damaged. And that is, maybe you can actually guess it before I say it, sunscreen. Applying sunscreen is the number one most important step in a skincare routine, whether you have young skin, whether you don't have any acne, whether you do have acne, whether you're older, younger, does not matter. You need to be applying sunscreen every single day in your skincare routine. It is so crucially important. The sun can be so damaging to our skin and of course you want to be using a sunscreen that's broad spectrum protecting you from uva and uvb rays since uva rays do the damage in the skin fasten the aging process and all of that and uvb rays burn the skin and not wearing sunscreen can lead to very serious damage in the skin so of course you want to be avoiding that at all costs by using a spf of at least 30 i recommend and make sure you're reapplying throughout the day but now how does this correlate to acne scars so this is actually something I noticed I always thought when I was younger you know I couldn't wait for summer to come because I'd get a bit of a tan and my skin I always thought would get better in the summer due to the sun um, and what I found sometimes is my acne scars really deepened in the summer and although they'd kind of get concealed by my freckles and a tan they wouldn't really get any better so I finally figured out that applying sunscreen would actually help my acne scars heal faster now let's break this down if you have acne you're probably using a lot of treatments let's say salicylic acid benzoyl peroxide all those ingredients that really help exfoliate and clean and kill the acne bacteria within the skin or maybe you're using other treatments such as LED therapy or various cosmetic treatments that could be sensitizing your skin let's face it all these treatments do make the skin more sensitive when you're trying to use them to heal your acne and if your skin is more sensitive therefore it is more sensitive to uv rays as well so although sunscreen is crucially important no matter what your skin looks like especially if you have acne scarring or suffer from acne make sure you're using it because it can actually make your scars worse and in fact it can make your skin more likely to scar after you get a pimple because overall uv radiation and sun exposure can just make that spot or breakout take longer to heal and it could also cause future scars and present scars to discolor. So please, please, please add some SPF to your routine if you haven't already. This will not only protect you from skin cancer, wrinkles, speeding up that aging process, and as we're talking about in this video, scarring. So please be applying your sunscreen. It will really help you. I actually recommend a sunscreen with zinc oxide in it. Um, I really love the Aveeno Sensitive Skin Sunscreen. I also love the Neutrogena Zinc Oxide Sunscreen. Um, those are great because zinc can actually help with inflammation, redness, 
and kind of calming down the skin and pigmentation within the skin so you're getting that sunscreen protection but you're also getting a bit of an acne scar and redness inflammation treatment and all that lovely stuff that comes with acne so that's definitely my number one recommendation i know we took a little longer on that um mistake tip but we had to make sure that that was covered because that's definitely the most crucial one we will be discussing moving on i think this one will be a pretty popular but a mistake number two that i often see is popping and picking at the skin it can be very tempting when we see a nice juicy pimple on our face to not just squeeze it but by doing this it's just going to lead to more scarring maybe even more infection because a lot of the time if you do have a bigger pimple and you're popping it you're just popping what's at the surface and a bigger sac remains underneath so not only could that lead to more infection but a lot of times people are not doing this correctly Correctly, and it can lead to more scarring. Um, please don't be using your nails and indenting into your skin. It's just going to lead to more scarring or those little metal tools. I would say avoid it at all costs. You can easily break blood vessels in the skin leading to more scarring. Um, actually in the past, which is probably the worst mistake I've ever done, I had like a clogged pore on my cheek here and it was a pretty big blackhead and I was trying to get it out myself. It was not working. I grabbed one of those metal tools and I got left with the biggest scabbed scar on my cheek, a scar that I still have to this day that I am working to get rid of. It's been a very long time since this spot has healed, but the scar remains underneath. So just really from my experience, and what I've seen from others, please don't be picking at your skin. I know it's very tempting, but um, I would just try to avoid it as much as you can. Every time you think, you know, let me just get this pimple or this blackhead, just think in your mind, take a moment to be like, I could be making this a lot worse and I could be leaving a scar there that will be there a lot longer than that pimple or blackhead. If you are wanting to get extractions, make sure you're going to a derm or esthetician who can do it properly and kind of bring down that risk of potential scarring. Next acne scar mistake. This is one that regards treating your acne scars. Now there are lots of treatments out there for healing acne scars but I'm going to be more talking about the microneedling treatments. I'm a huge fan of microneedling. I have done videos here on my channel explaining my experience with microneedling with both at home and in office devices. I'm a huge fan and I do see a lot of benefits with microneedling with helping boost that collagen production and helping get rid of scars in the skin. But if you have scars and acne at the same time, please do not use a treatment like this over those areas because you should not be using a microneedling treatment over active breakouts. Microneedling involves penetrating the skin and creating little micro tears with needles. So if you are doing this over a active breakout and going all over your face, you are only going to spread that infection, therefore causing more potential breakouts and leading to more scarring in the future. Although these treatments are good, you just want to be cautious. I would say if you have breakouts and scarring at the same time, um, some of these at-home devices, I really enjoy the Banish 2.0. I did a whole video on that one. That one is really nice because you can really pinpoint what you're trying to treat. So let's say I'm breaking out over here, but I have a scar over here I want to treat, that I can target my treatment to this area and really ignore this whole area over here to make sure I am not worsening it. Make sure that you're not taking a very good and effective treatment and turning into something worse by doing it incorrectly. All right, next mistake I often see is not nourishing the skin enough with your skincare. So a lot of the times if you struggle with acne, you're using products that can potentially be very harsh and stripping and sensitizing to the skin. Um, if you are using all those actives like salicylic acid, benzoyl peroxide, all those popular um, and effective acne treatments, a lot of times you can be drying and stripping the skin. And although, you know, you might think, well, I need all these treatments to kill all the acne bacteria and really work. You do also want to be making sure your skincare is nourishing, hydrating, all of these things to also replenish the skin and make sure it, that your skin has the ability to heal itself. This even goes for acne scar treatments and ingredients that work well for acne scarring, like exfoliants, AHAs, BHAs, all those things. Although they are great for helping with acne scarring, you don't want to be just focusing on those, making sure that you are spacing out these treatments to make sure your skin is not oversensitized. And in that time in between, you want to make sure you are nourishing your skin. I recommend a really great moisturizer, you know, something that can really replenish your moisture barrier. CeraVe has a great one, Bubble does as well. And then I also recommend, you know, adding in a hyaluronic acid. 
or a peptide serum or something to give your skin that boost it needs to help heal and don't just stick to all those harsh exploiters let's give an example here the ordinary aha and bha peeling solution great product if it works for you in my opinion it's a little too harsh on my skin but i do see how it can be beneficial for others it's great and it helps a lot of people with their acne and acne scarring since it exfoliates well and really replenishes the skin so if you have pigmentation and acne scarring over time that will help make it go away but if you are using this treatment too often too long and using too much of it you can really damage the skin and you can potentially get a chemical burn which of course will lead to um, a longer time for your skin to heal so it's just this domino effect so you want to make sure you're you have a balance in your skincare routine if you feel like you're overdoing it with the treatments cut out everything and stick to a moisturizer cleanser sunscreen just for a few days or even like a week to make sure your skin is balanced out and tip number five and this will kind of contradict the last one but hear me out not using exfoliants and chemical exfoliants for your acne scarring i often see people target their acne and using those treatments to help with the acne but then they don't really focus too much on the acne scars after and i mean up to everyone if they want to treat what they want to treat in their skin but i do see more focus i feel like on treating the actual acne and a lot of people don't realize that there are products that they can use for acne scarring as well i really recommend your ahas bhas if you have more sensitive skin like me lactic acid is a great one i love the one from the ordinary it's a light enough exfoliator where i can use it every day on my skin but it just gives me a bit of that refresh every single night phas glycolic acid anything like that can be really helpful at just renewing that top layer of the skin and by doing a chemical exfoliant every few days or every week you're just kind of helping the surface of the skin kind of replenish and therefore it will help with your acne scarring in the long run so of course you don't want to be overdoing it like i said in point four but here we're talking about not doing it at all and i honestly recommend more chemical peels especially if you deal with acne and acne scarring at the same time of course you don't want to be applying something too strong over your active acne but between a chemical exfoliant and a physical exfoliant, I would always pick chemical just because physical exfoliants, you know, are typically a scrub form. They scratch out the skin, they can create micro tears, and overall, I just am not a fan of them. So if you haven't already, try looking into some chemical peels or exfoliators that might really help. Now, of course, there are in-office or at-home treatments that you can always do, but those are a great place to start to help with your acne scarring. All right, guys, so there you have it. Those are the top five mistakes slash tips that I would want to give to you guys and make sure that you are fixing within your routine if you struggle with acne scarring and are trying to find new ways to either help it or treat it. I hope this video was helpful. If you haven't seen the biggest skincare mistakes for acne, I will link that down below in the description as well as all my skincare trials and other skincare 101 videos. If you did enjoy, please give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and also make sure you turn on my post notifications so you get notified every single time I upload a new video. I hope you're having a fantastic day. I love you so, so much, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye! Oh, you tell me stories You tuck me in And the second you leave I call you right back To check for monsters in my sheets